This is Fan First Network. So, uh, thoughts on the game today? Give me your thoughts. I mean, um, bro, yeah, bro he, yeah, he sold yeah. at the end. He sold at the end. Honestly. She, you should have went for the ball, not the, not the guy. I'm telling my friend there, they're here because they fought to be here. And we played like a game that, uh, we played like a team that was just there for no reason. It felt like a friendly. We thought we were going to score, but once we did, we, got, we went 2-1 up. We got too comfortable and just thought we had the game in our hands and then it, we let it slip just like that. That's why you can't take no team for uh, any team for advantage, whatever. I thought that Canada was going to win mostly, but actually it was a draw and then I thought that was fair. Absolute terrible. Didn't think uh, we got the result we wanted. Glad that we came through on that last goal. But uh, that 90 minute goal for Guadeloupe, holy. Yeah, what the fuck, man? But yo, you know what? We tied Guadeloupe before, they tied us again. Gotta give them some credit for that. It was exciting because World Cup's coming, so everyone was excited. Yeah. Um, very, very tough to see that we couldn't hold the lead at the end, that hurt. Honestly, with the reduced roster we had, maybe we underestimated them. Hard to like not think that, yeah. but um, you know, decent result. The guys out there, they gave us a few chances to a few young guys. And I think they all played well. Um, bad calls, CONCACAF, always gonna happen. I think this is a good representation of taking every team serious. Hey, Guadalupe is a very good uh, team, and Canada is so bad. So, thoughts going into the halftime, down 1-0. Were you nervous at all? What were your thoughts? I knew we'd come back, because I know that we're capable of coming back, and that happened. Um, but it's we felt that same symptom that we've had for the last years it's the lack of concentration it's the same thing that happened in the belgium game as well in the world cup right we're up 2-1 yeah. till the last what it was extra time right yeah. bro give us shitty give us davies give us david bro it's done it's yeah. done for oh, yeah. do you think we need those type of players like against these teams or do you think we can handle it without them Dude, not not against guadalupe honestly <laughs> i wouldn't expect it to i wouldn't expect this to happen but you know when we get to like teams like the usa copa america next year we're gonna need those players they're the difference right they're the difference maker those guys they're like they're what make us from good to great you know one or two of those guys it would have been a different result but I can't complain about what the guys did. I thought at least yeah. Jonathan David should be playing. Alfonso yeah. Davies maybe not, because like just in case with injury, but Jonathan David at least, I thought he should have been playing. I mean, you know, we did we did pretty well without them, but like we could have beat them like 5-1. So we're gonna be in the Copa America next year. Yeah. How do you think we'll compete against Leo, Neymar, likes of likes of low guys, Columbia even? Like I'm excited to maybe get some draws in there that are favorite, like exciting games, but you think it'll be better than our World Cup run? Oh, has to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But, like, if we make it quarterfinals, like, that's good. Semifinals would be amazing. But, like, quarterfinals, I'd be over the moon. Oh, we're going to get slaughtered. I'm not going to lie. We're yeah. getting slaughtered. Well, it's it's about form, you know? Are we capable of doing well? 100%. 100%. If we played like we did against Honduras, just like, what was it? it was in March, then we can absolutely make it to the knockout. We can get out of the group stage comfortably. But if we're going to play like we do today and against the final, the final, the Nations League final was so bad, we have no chance. I think that this was a very good opportunity to watch some of our uh, new guys. Yeah. I, uh, I think guys. like yeah. that our players who were coming off the bench, especially the tour. Yeah, uh, yeah we like the tour, man. You're United, bro. Let's go. You're United. Amazing game. Just the last minute goal kind of hurted us. Ah, great man. defense. The great offense by our team. Just, you think that was an amazing game? Sorry. Amazing game still. 10 out of 10. I loved yeah. it. Shout out to Ali Ahmed, number 20 on Canada. That's gay. You are crazy. Yeah, yeah. no. Ali Ahmed, yeah. number 20. We grew up with him. So, you know, we got to support the hometown hero, right? Yeah, yeah. Amazing assist from him, too. We yeah, loved sir. it. Yo, you know, like, um, we want to see the young guys. That's cool, right? But we should be smashing Guadalupe at home. But okay, fine. You know what? We didn't get the first game. We got two more games. Is it Cuba and Guatemala? Bro, it's in Houston. Let's go smash them, okay? Let's go smash them. This is Fan First Network.